wondered what the difference is between a conjunctive schedule and an alternative schedule? Well, I will tell you. Maybe. Hold on, I have to restart that because I've completely forgotten what they are. It starts out with alternative. All right. Have you ever wondered what the difference is between an alternative schedule and a conjunctive schedule? Me too. I'm going to have to go take a look. Have you ever wondered what the difference is between a conjunctive schedule and an alternative schedule? Ah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am no longer wondering what the difference is between an alternative schedule and a conjunctive schedule. Why? Because I've been to Cooper and Solzer Azeroth Mayor and everybody else out there under the sun for 14,000 times in a row, and I'm going to tell it to you really simply. Are you ready? An alternative schedule is simple. You have an alternative between a ratio schedule and an interval schedule. They're both presented to you at the same time, hence the concurrent part. You have ratio schedules. Complete five widgets, get paid $100. Or work for 50 minutes, get paid $100. Doesn't matter which one, right? So, well, wait a minute, it doesn't quite work. Ratio schedules, first response. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so, no, that was a time schedule. Shit. Interval schedule. See? I'm telling you, these things are confusing, right? So, should we go back? I'm messing with you, folks. No, I'm not. I am kind of. Just a little bit. Anyway, so, ratio schedule, complete 50 widgets. This one, you're going to get paid after every 50 minutes if you happen to be working. Which sounds really weird, but it's really the truth. Anyway, this is why you should only work when your boss is watching. Ha ha ha! Don't do that. <laughs> anyway, you have a ratio schedule, you have an interval schedule, you have an alternative. Right? So one or the other. So in an alternative schedule, all you gotta do is complete one. Doesn't matter if it's the interval or the ratio. As long as you complete one, you're golden. All right? So what are the keys with an, in, uh, with an alternative schedule? All jokes aside, um, the keys are really simple. You have to have two types of schedules, two types of basic schedules, one of them being ratio, one of them being interval. You don't have to worry about fixed or variable, but just or, or, yeah, or variable, but one of them has to be ratio, one of them has to be interval. Complete which one, whichever one you want, earn the reinforcer, game over. All right? um, so in the other one, the conjunctive schedule, which I almost forgot. Um, so the other one, the conjunctive schedule, you have to complete both. Other than that, they're exactly the same. You have a ratio schedule and an interval schedule, and in the conjunctive and in the conjunctive schedule, you have to complete both components in order to earn the reinforcer that you're trying to earn. So that's really the only difference between those. They're really easy, but they're really easy to get confused, which is why you saw me going back and forth to the book 14 times. Hopefully, you won't have to go back and forth to your book. Now you can just replay our video over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, and you'll figure out the difference between alternative and conjunctive schedules. Again, alternative, either or, and you're in the reinforcer. Conjunctive, you gotta mix them both. You gotta do them both, okay, in order to earn the reinforcer. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs>